Am I learning? You're about to. Specification point 1.14 B. Explain how the energy contained in food can be measured using calorimetry. This is a biology only specification point. To successfully answer any GCSE question linked to this specification point, you will need to know how the calorimeter works. A calorimeter is a machine used in the process of calorimetry. A small sample of material is placed in the machine which burns them. The energy given off when the material burns is measured. Calorimeters are often used in the food industry to measure the energy in food. This is an example of the type of question you might see in an exam. Describe how this calorimeter can be used to find the energy content of 10 grams of food. As you can see in this colorimeter, it has a combustion chamber where the food is burnt. The energy released by the food then heats up the water, and this temperature change is measured. The temperature is measured at the start and at the end. The overall increase in the temperature of the water can be used to calculate the energy content of the food. You may also get exam questions about the bomb calorimeter. It is important that you know the following so that you can answer questions on the bomb calorimeter successfully. The bomb calorimeter has ignition wires so that the food material can be burnt. The burning material then heats up the water. It has a thermometer so the starting temperature and the final temperature of the water can be measured. The stirrer ensures that heat is evenly distributed throughout the water. The bomb calorimeter also has a lid to reduce heat loss. In other words, it acts as an insulator. The simplest calorimeter can be made by arranging a beaker of water above a burning sample. The change in temperature of the water is a direct measure of the energy held within the sample. Whichever calorimeter you get an exam question about, remember to include the following. Burn the food. The burning food release energy which then heats up water. This temperature change is measured. The temperature is measured at the start and at the end. The overall increase in the temperature of the water can be used to calculate the energy content of the food. Our animations were designed by experienced UK trained teachers. We have been achieving amongst the best results in the country for many years and we decided it was time to share our success. Have you just ummeled and want to ummel some more? Don't forget to like, subscribe and share to keep yourself up to date with the latest uploads. Am I learning? You just did.